Check this out. This is the Zero X Club solar wireless backup camera. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick overview on how I took it out of the box. There's a lot of pieces, and it looks a little more complicated than as soon as you start putting it together, right? So um, you take out the screen, pop those couple antennas on, and then for me, I don't want this permanently mounted, so I went ahead and slid this little square nut in that slot and attach the suction cup mount because um, I'm going to be putting it in the truck only when I want it and then um, taking it out when I'm not towing a trailer and then I made this connection which goes to just your basic like cigarette lighter power outlet that's kind of the temporary setup the more permanent would be this it's got the same plug except on the other end you would uh, wire those two up to like 12 volts and ground probably preferably switched which you could probably pull off the cigarette lighter but rather than have it plug in you know you do it on the back side tuck it up out of the way but i'm not going to use that one because i'm not going to keep it permanently in there i'll come back to that if i was going to do more permanent i wouldn't do the suction cup i'd go ahead and do this big mounting plate so this mounting plate could be attached to the dash and then you got some wing nuts that are going to go into those holes and that way you got a whole pivot on here and it's going to be permanently mounted you could permanently wire it that would be like if if i had an rv like this that's exactly what i would do so if you're looking for an rv and you want it installed permanently this will work perfect um and then the second part the camera here this is what it looks like all i really did was pop this wire through and then put this little gasket on um, and then at this point you got to make a bit of a plan because that is not designed to be put on and taken off and put on. So like for what I'm going to do with a trailer, I'm going to permanently mount this to the trailer. But I'm not going to do it right now, I just want to kind of demo it for you. Um, and then so there's four holes you'll have to drill, um, you know, drilling through metal, you know, want to have make sure you have some of the some of the tools to drill through metal. Then also understand if you're going to attach this up near the roof, that's kind of how it's designed to be up high. You're going to have to seal this really good. So I'd get like a nice high quality outdoor rated silicone that's totally waterproof. I think the gasket's decent. I, that's not enough for me. I would totally silicone this base gasket and I'd probably even silicone it where it goes to the plastic and I'd seal this thing up really good. But again, that's on this, you know, something like this. Um, if it's like a travel trailer, it's going to be similar. I'm actually going to put this on an open trailer so you can see the, the car go inside. Um, so that's basically where you're at. This thing is going to take drilling and screws, and it comes with the screws for that. But let me go ahead and set this up temporarily on my truck and show you just how easy the communication is. Oh, and this would poke through the, your RV, and they just have to find a 12-volt in ground. They recommend using the backup camera, and that's fine if, or the uh, reverse lights, the backup light circuit, and that's fine if you want this just to come on when you reverse, no problem. But if you actually wire it to, let's say, um, you know, like for me, I'm going to use the cargo lamp. If I use the cargo lamp, that means I can turn this on at any time, not just when I'm in reverse. So really just, you need this to go somewhere where the power is available when you want to be able to see so to me cargo lamp for you if you just want it when backing up in the parking lot go ahead right for the reverse just like the uh, instructions say Alrighty, so i got it in the truck now for me because mine's temporary i just did suction cup right to my um, sunroof right there and then sold that closed you could do here you could do here uh, again if it's going to be more permanent and you don't need the suction cup that bracket's nice right you could do it anywhere that you want it. Now once that's installed, I'll show you, this is the temporary setup. You just hit this power button and there you go. So that looks pretty neat. You can also record. So I've actually been thinking about adding one of these for the bed of my truck. So when I have a motorcycle back there, if I'm going to go into the store, I could actually leave this powered on because this outlet is 12 volt battery powered. I could record the entire time that I'm in the store or something, but I I did actually have a motorcycle stolen in the back of my truck. It's been a long time, and that was left at my house when I lived in a different house. It was overnight, different neighborhood. 
So I could consider doing this. It actually makes kind of sense if I'm, you know, moving a bike and I'm nervous about the straps or if I have a lot of stuff back there, I would like to check it out. This is actually a pretty cool setup for that. But um, this I really had in mind for a travel trailer. So right now this is temporary just to show you. Now you can see my drill from where I was working. Let me show you what it looks like outside. All right, so there's the, the camera. It's kind of big. Um, again, if you're gonna mount it someplace like, that is just set up there, all right? Because it's just a demo for you, but you know, when I get the travel trailer, I'm probably not gonna mount on the roof. I'm probably gonna bring it down kind of like to the back and that camera pivots. So it's actually a pretty nice system. And then notice right there, if you see my rig, I've just got a little battery jumper in it right now. So this is the part where you gotta do a little thinking. How are you gonna mount it? Um, how are you gonna make sure your, your four holes to mount it are gonna be sealed? And plus you gotta drill one in the center to get the wire inside. And then like what I was gonna do is just tie into the cargo lamp. So anytime I turn the cargo lamp on, this is powered. You could jump it to full time 12 volts, but that's just gonna mean that camera is gonna run 24 seven. It's gonna drain your battery. You're probably gonna end up killing the camera because you don't really need it running 24 seven. So it should go to a power source that comes on only really when you want it, right? And then dealing with the penetration and sealing, that's gonna vary on a case by case, but it's a pretty cool um, setup. And I'd say, you know, in this case, it's not a really big deal because my truck is fairly small and I could have actually run wires over the headliner. You can see that's live, zoom in a little more. But like for a big travel trailer, you can see me waving a little bit. For, for a larger trailer, you're really gonna want the wireless feature. So all you need to do is get this thing, a power source, right? And then that is gonna communicate with these antennas. And that's where, that's where your picture and all that comes from, right? And then again, simply to the 12 volt power letter, if it's more permanent, you know, go ahead and wire it in. And then this thing is like built in, totally ready to go. What was kind of neat, you could turn off here. You can change some things. You could actually run multiple cameras if you had uh, multiple different cameras for different angles. And then I like this feature. I can just turn it off, boom. Or I can just turn it on. All right, so there you go. So neat, neat system. Um, definitely you could, uh, do a few different things with it, depending on really what you're looking for. I do kind of like this setup. Next time I move a motorcycle, I'll be like, man, maybe I should mount this in the truck. But not right now. I'm gonna put it in a trailer. So, I like it. It's pretty easy. You just gotta make a couple connections here, potentially a couple in the front, unless you use the cigarette lighter, then just making two connections. So there you go.